everyone, Susie here, aka Mum to GNT. Um, my first video tutorial, so um, apologies for any errors or ramblings. Um, so I just th thought I would show you a quick tutorial on masking and sometimes you've got the photo and you want a particular mask but you can't find the mask, you want to expose certain parts of the photo but you just haven't got the right mask, you kind of want to um, merge a few masks to create one big one and use that but you don't really want to do that and um, all gets horribly wrong so you don't bother well if you're anything like me you don't so here's a quick tutorial on how to use a few masks on one photo so here's my photo in Photoshop uh, Georgia on our local beach so let's open a mask from the lovely Anna so I'm going to copy that paste, clip it, shrink it, because everything has to be shrunk with me. There we go, I'll leave that there. Look, this isn't perfect. Um, just want to show you what I mean. Copy that, and now, with the photo layer selected, I'm going to control J for an exact copy, and then I'm gonna paste my mask and clip it shrink my mask and watch this look at that you've kind of got two merged masks without really merging them so i'm getting a bit croaky i lost my voice earlier in the week so um that'll be right i'll probably lose my voice in a minute um open one more copy it and copy Control j and paste and clip and shrink. I do this stuff without looking at the keyboard and sometimes open things I didn't even know were there. There we go. Um, we'll just do one more just for good luck. That one there. Control A, F3, close. Control J, F4. There's probably an easy way to do all this. I can't be bothered to drag into all these you know there we are so anyway you get the gist so you've got four photos which I'm going to lock so you can't move them um, and these masks that you can kind of move around to expose the bits of the photo that you want to expose and um, yeah and then obviously you can merge them all or whatever you want to do um, and voila so there you go that was my little tutorial tip um, by video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and that you can use it on your pages. 